Hey Taurus, welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy. I'm ready to jump into a current energy check for you, darlings. How are you? Um, I know I'm late getting on today. But better late than never and all that. How are you all? How are you? Listen, someone might be getting out of jail. Someone's got out of jail. Some kind of imprisonment. You, someone else. Um, a journey's coming to a completion. One that you anticipated. It was just a matter of when. Um... For some of you, there's a situation with a child coming to an end. Show me messages for Taurus. I'm not going to ramble on tonight because I'm actually recording this late, okay? So I want my tea. I'm starving. <laughs> um, listen, someone is dreaming about you and even the dreams are making them sad. Um, someone regrets being a controlling piece of shit. Someone regrets keeping the mouth shut, right? Someone regrets keeping the mouth shut. Someone is sad now that you've met someone new and that person is now stood in the way of you and them. Whatever that means to someone. Could be a message for just one of you. However, don't message, uh, don't force the messages to fit if they're not for you, okay? General messages, not personal. Place a sign of Taurus anywhere in your birth chat that you like. Someone reminds of Venus, she could find messages in here for you. Cross watchers, always welcome. I encourage that shit. Let me see what my balls need to see. This energy that I'm reading is current, okay? So it's very fluid between past and future. Past is a minute ago and prior. Future is in a minute and beyond. I've seen it male and female energy. I've seen both. So we've got a match here. Show a message to Taurus, please. What do my darlings need to see today? Oh, yay. Love, 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 love. Beautiful start. Big look. Divine guidance. Divine protection. Divine timing. Destined beautifulness, big luck, something beautiful on its way, you're being showered, you're being sprinkled in gold dust, universal magic, blessings. Some of you this is about your car, some of you could be getting a new car, some of you could be travelling, some of you could be moving. Some of you this is energetic or physical, either way, you are being guided and blessed on that journey. Celebration guys, keep going whenever you're going. Forward motions only, determined, tunnel visioned, not looking back. That's about to reap some rewards. Something's about to be revealed to you, the living room. Something's going to be coming to light and it's going to be bringing you a lot of sh a shitload of celebration. Okay, we've got the 22 military. So this could be something within a, um, a legal situation or <clears throat> something quite important. Someone could be taking a stand here and bringing something to light. Mm. Someone is wondering what you're doing at home, where your home is, who's at your home. <laughs> Listen, this shit's not going to wash. False people, false person and legal matters, whether this is actually legal situations or karmic situations, yeah? These false people, these devious, malicious dickheads are not going to get away with whatever they're trying to do. Because you're protected. Again, I'm not going to, you know, keep going over how protected you are. But you are fucking protected, Taurus. So, let the little silly gooses try. Someone's going to be coming to light, though. Someone likes you. Maybe that's what it is. Some of you could be someone of a high status. Someone within the forces. Uh, you're going to be finding something out or someone's just picking up the balls and telling you something because you're all happy and doing you um, show me Taurus's messages receiving what you need this is someone that you've moved on from without closure can't deal the boat the dragonfly so you wanted something from someone you wanted some truth some closure you didn't get it you moved on without it so now you're going to get it how typical selfish bastards <laughs> Sorry, Taurus. Outdated thinking. So, listen, you got bored of waiting to see whether this person actually likes you or whether they're going to get off their ass because they do like you. Like, same shit, different day. Separation. They miss you. They don't know what you're up to and it worries them. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Seduction, oh dear. 
I mean, not so much old here, but listen, for those of you that this is a third party interference, yeah? I mean, you're being protected. This is hitting bedrock, so something amazing is about to come down here. You could, be, you could have met someone new, and it's the passion and the attraction and the sex is insane. Um, some of you could be, like, getting on with, like, you know, getting it on with someone at work and shit over the desk. Love that vibe. <laughs> um, someone... This is it in a big rock, so let's carry on. There's a lot of attraction, put it that way. Flirting, dating, hooking up. Phoenix, someone, so oh, this is a new phase, a new beginning. A rekindle, this is because you're getting off. I feel like someone's really worried about who you're being intimate with for a lot of you, or who you're being passionate with, who you're hooking up with, who you're seeing. So they're going to come in. And, um, send you some kind of message because I see you doing great the golden mirror someone that could have love bombed you a one sided relationship you put your shit into it they didn't so you left it you've got off you've moved forward someone very self absorbed or a narcissist show me more one more The chaser? Ooh. Did someone make you a chaser? And you thought, what the fuck? Hang on, hold the fuck up. Listen, this person is now being the chaser. It's like they realise that they fucked up trying to make you a chaser. Or the person that made you a chaser is coming back around. Someone is learning from the past. Someone keeps looking at your photos. Someone's been in a karmic relationship. Or oh, this is someone that you deem as a karmic relationship. Yeah, someone that you've had to move on from. So you've deemed it as karmic. You've moved past it without any kind of closure, any kind of communication. And now, typically, in it comes, the awaited message arrives. So you're going to get it when you don't want it. And I love that because then you're not going to jump at it. Do you know what I mean? You're too busy ascending. Show messages for Taurus. It's not about your house. That's significant. Someone at home could be feeling unwell. You could be. Thief. You don't trust this person. Um, you know that this person has been dealing with dickheads. You've been dealing like... It's like you've got yourself out of the situation because of who and what they was attached to. Like whatever they had themselves... Like whatever they had going on for themselves. Like just hanging energy. Audible energy with that thief there. You know, it could have been over money, statuses, whatever, wealth you know, work, it's like someone put all the materialistic shit above everything else and it's like, nah, you was like, that's not for me, that's not who I am. You go and deal with that because it's all a farce, it's all a fun, it's all a show and it's all crumbling down how you anticipated it to go, put it that way, with whoever this thief is. Show me the rest of please. The tall woman. Courthouse. Despair. So something's not gone someone's way. There could be a divine feminine energy involved in this situation here. Someone could be going through a trial or like come here. Someone's been right, we've got main mature woman, courthouse, despair, imprisonment, and community. You're being told to chill the fuck out because something is not going many people's ways. There could be a few people going to jail here. There could be a few people that lose the job. There could be a few, there's a few people getting karma. There could be like literal court proceedings going on or this is just important shit and you're being told to chill the fuck out. This could be over like slander, like people gossiping about you, talking shit about you because they're jealous of you, you know. Oh yeah, you're going to get some good news about this thief. You're going to get some good news, a gift and a message about this thief. Like you always knew coming, you always knew it was coming, you just didn't know when. Do you know what I mean? Love that. So, <laughs> I hate to be whoever these are, this group of people. Because I feel like this group of people, there could be more than one person going to jail over something. 
um, or they're going to be very fucking sad over how they've dealt with you or treated you. Definitely more than one energy though. Let's carry on. The chaser again. Show me Taurus' energy. The Phoenix again. Is this someone that made you a chaser in some kind of way? Or made you feel like one healing heart? Someone sorry for making you feel like, like that. Um, the ship. Cutting ties, moving on, receiving what you need, progression and arriving. The dragonfly, light-hearted and adapt to finding out. So because you've moved on, you're going to find you out. Listen, someone's, someone's found out that you've moved on because you've gone and met someone new and you've gone on a date and they found out somehow and listen, somehow is very fucking fluid because they are watching you like fuck. They're watching you like a hawk. For some of you, they're watching, your, you're watching your house and you see someone coming in. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Um, you're not going to expect someone coming in. Show me, if you've not met anyone new yet, you're going to. 11-11 11, 11 on the timer. Yes, you are. Confirmation. Show me Taurus's messages. Obviously, you've got to be open and willing, but I see it. It's in the energy, and it's not been there for weeks, so yay. Yay for you lot. Show me Taurus's messages. Paradise, happiness and joy, playfulness, expansion, enjoying each other. Honeymoon phase. So you're, you could be very much enjoying yourself right now, keeping yourself to yourself. Being quite mysterious, maybe secretive. Um, but it's with someone else. Show me more. Self-indulgent. Listen, you're very self-focused. Those of you that are not seeing someone new, someone's just assuming that you are because you're that self-indulgent. Like, you're working on yourself, in or out, or appearances a lot. Like... You've been to the gym, you've been working out, your body looks amazing, your shape is amazing, you, you're just looking amazing. Um, and someone that's had a poker face is about to take a risk, take a chance. Taking a chance, risks and options, not showing hand gambling. Someone feels like they have to do it because of how self-indulgent you are. And for a lot of you, it is because you found someone else. And some of you, it's not, they just assume that you have. Um, you're just moving on. You're just getting on that ship, cutting it out, cutting ties. Some of you have done some literal cutting card rituals. Um, and I love that and it can just be as simple as lighting a candle and cutting a piece of rope it can be that simple, a piece of string he's been a narcissist going here someone's been telling someone that you have put a love spell on them right someone that's moving out of a home someone that's, especially those of you that have been in a third party situation yeah, and someone's leaving that home the person that they're leaving is telling that, telling them that you've put them under some kind of spell. Right. Ridiculous. Someone's taking a risk and coming to your house. Like, or someone's going to ask you to move in with them. Or... Narcissist. Yes. Water signs. Some of you are water signs and narcissist. Yes, they are. <laughs> Um, doesn't have to be. Luck is on your side here when it comes to narcissists. You know, like, it's it's mad because empaths attract narcissists. You just do. Um, but they'll never get you, yeah, is what you're being told there. You can deal with a narcissist. Yes, you can. Um, I love that, though, because I say that, like, I'm not scared of crazy. Me, I'm not scared of crazy, like... Oh, some of you, there's two people here. Yeah. A water sign and a fire sign. Some of you, there's a water, fire, a water, like a cancer, um, you know, there's a cusp. Someone needs to tell you something. You feel you're leaving him. You feel distance. You don't like it. Messages for Taurus, please. Manifesting. Tell the universe exactly what it is that you want. Listen, you're being listened to. So get the manifestations in order. Make sure they're positive. The negative manifests too. So be mindful. Because a lot of you could be manifesting this person coming back without knowing it. Um, a lot of you are just manifesting a soulmate and this person's coming around. Or manifesting a twin flame. This person's coming around. 
you are listening. You are being listened to by the divine. We've got pets. Some of you could be getting a new pet. Giving pet, giving your animals lots of attention. That's how you're listening to get that all day. Um, because they're very good at that. They're very healing in that in that way. Honeymoon. Honeymoon phase. Listen, some of you. Some of you are with someone that loves animals or like it's puppy love like it's you're in a serious little honeymoon phase like if you're not there if you're not there yet you're gonna be because you're being told to get ready to be wine and dine some of you someone's coming back to to ask you out because they know you are seeing someone else i can't stress that enough and that's bullshit but they're doing it um but obviously that won't be for everyone's message Either way, you're going to be getting asked out or someone's going to be coming asking you out. And for some of you, it's because someone new is involved. Um, and for others of you, it's because you, they give you too much time. like Or they give it too much time, not you. You give them too much time. So now it's just a challenge. It's awkward kind of thing. Um, someone's lying about being pregnant. What the fuck? Someone's lying about being pregnant. Oh my goodness. Someone's lied about being pregnant, so someone won't come and be with you. Fab. You're finding out anyway, if that's the case. Fucking hell. Show me Doris's messages. Let me know if these messages are making sense. Someone is in love with you. Could be a nurse sign, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, doesn't have to be. Could be a water sign also. Um that was a shit shuffle. Show me Taurus's messages. Could be a cancer. Listen, you're moving forward with someone else for a lot of you. Um, someone could be at a little bit of a distance from you. You're like out of town. Um, someone doesn't really, someone really, really, really don't want you moving on. Some of you, they know who it is and they're devastated like because of who it is that you're moving on with kind of thing. Um, however, that can make sense for you. It's like that's a bigger that's an even bigger blow like not just the fact that you're moving on it's who it's with it's like wow for whatever reason manifesting guys some of you have re-evaluated your manifestations some of you have um refocused and you put it all into like your finances your money your security as your stability your work your career you know that sent you through a transformation that someone sees you doing amazing Oh, there's an emperor going through a tower. Jesus. Show me Taurus's messages. What do my babies need to see? Well, the five of corpses, the seven of wands, the princess of wands, someone absolutely regrets, like, fuck pushing you away or keeping you at a distance. For fucking about, for not being serious, for not committing. And for some of The Eight of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. Someone regrets trying to, like, putting you on pause and trying to work, trying to work on a different situation for a lot of y'all. Um, and for others of y'all, someone regrets, because now you're the Queen of Swords to them, so it's like the pause. They're completely kicking themselves. Yeah, however that can go. King of Wands could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone's kicking themselves. It's going to be different for all of you, of course. Someone has been trying to build on a situation um, with a karmic, right? And they are kicking themselves for that. They regret it. They've got a lot of questions to answer um, to you. And it's about how they couldn't commit. And for those of you, this is someone that now wants to come and build with you. Now you're the Queen of Swords. But I'm not going to lie, it kind of turns them on. Um, if that's the case, this is someone that you've not dealt with. The alien, hermit energy, um, <laughs> hermit energy, yes, but also Virgo energy. Uh, someone that you've not dealt with, you've not spoke to, someone that you've ended things badly with for a lot of you. Like they fucked you over big time. Oh, that's how you felt. Major betrayal, painful ending. Someone didn't take account for their part in that either. They didn't, and they're about to come and apologize in some kind of way. Fucking typical. Show me Taurus's messages. I'm 
as well. Someone's devastated that you're kind of like possibly moving on for a lot of you. Could be a Gemini. This is someone that you had a very strong connection with and you just ghosted it. So it's like, what the fuck else are you supposed to do? Because there's been no communication, so with this person. They've been dealing with the past whilst in the ghosting period. Someone's been dealing with the past. A lot of you have done some reflecting upon your past as well um, because of this situation. Oh, listen. <laughs> Fucking hell. Listen, for those of you that have got someone new, yeah, this uh, past person is going to try and like cause some kind of drama or conflict either with them or with you. And it's over who it is or they're just jealous, put it that way. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Leo, three of swords. Some of you, yeah, are going to get put in a position to choose between past and future, past and new. Um, and it's going to be a very difficult decision. Very difficult decision. Four of Wands, the Devil, the Strength, and the Three of Swords. So it's like, I feel like you're going to be asked to choose in some kind of way there to be dead honest um for a lot of you show me this five of cups someone as well has been in a very toxic relationship very 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 toxic relationship um or someone regrets making a, a shit like a relationship with you toxic show me this five of cups please Someone's ready to speak. The King of Swords. It's like verbal vomit. I feel like they're not gonna even going to really know what it is that they're saying because they're just going to spit it out because they have to. They need to. Could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They've been watching you. And it's like they're throwing, it, they're throwing like the magnifying glass down. They're fucking done watching now. They've got to say something because of based on what they've seen and it's made them sad. It's made them regretful. Um, show me more. This five of cups. Oh, the hangman and the queen of swords. Queen of swords is there twice. So, listen, for those of you that someone chose someone else, yeah, they are beyond looking at that individual, like, you know, like picking out every single flaw, every single flaw, male or female. Someone is looking at a situation with another individual from a completely different perspective. Someone thought they were doing the right thing, thought they were being logical, sensible. Um, someone regrets being like that. The devil, <laughs> the devil, the four of wands and the emperor. So someone's had a very toxic marriage. Very, very toxic. The divine masculine, you know, it's going to go one or two ways. The divine masculine was either the cause or the divine masculine is getting out of it. Um, show me the seven of wands, please. Taurus. <clears throat> the king of cups. The four of pentacles. And... The King of Pentacles, oh my god. Two dudes here together. I mean, I know we've now got three kings, but some of you are dealing with two people. And you're going to hold on to, you're being told to hold on to the other one whilst you're dealing with this person. Someone's going to come in and defend the feelings. Someone's going to come in and defend the self. Um, and whilst they're doing that, you're being told to hold on to the new person as well for a lot of you. Not oh, truth's coming. Soon, shit. Soon. At night time for a lot of y'all. Blimey. For those of you that this is not two people, someone's been trying to, you know, the reason for them pushing their emotions to a side is because of work or the way that they are viewed, the status, their image, their appearance, the job, something. Are they going to come in and speak? Show me this Princess of Wands, please, for Taurus. Show me this Princess of Wands, please. Some of you are doing something online and you look outstanding, but you're doing it very, um, very self-focused. This person's never taken their eye off you, I'm telling you now, and it's online for a lot of you they feel guilty as fuck they put on a big front big front big front like again there's a lot of 
pleasing other people. There's a lot of people like... There's a lot of people going to be sorry for maybe being team fuck Taurus, to be dead honest. You're so protected, it's unbelievable. People are starting to realise this and you're going to have a couple of them come back and say like, maybe even before something goes down, you're going to have some people come back and say like, listen, I'm not on that side no more or something like that. I'm sorry for even getting involved. Um, for some of you, this is a Leo and they're absolutely heartbroken over you. Or it's someone that put you in a third party situation. Show me this eight of pentacles, please. Someone's dropping the pretense anyway. Because they've got no choice. It's like they can't get to you otherwise. They can. Show me this eight of pentacles, please. Some of you are going to get something amazing come through as far as work is concerned. Your dream job. If you've been for an interview, you're going to get it. The star. You're going to get something great. Some of you are choosing to work on yourself amazingly. And again, it's all about to come through. The rewards are about to come through. There's abundance on its way for your Taurus. There's some way to pop out then. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. That's two wish fulfillment cards. So you have been being listened to. Again, check your manifestations. Just, you know, no one's perfect. But you're being listened to. You're being heard. So you're going to get something here that you are absolutely wishing for. One more, please. You say your pentacles. Oh, my God new some of you have met someone new could be an aquarius Jeez. listen some of you are going to be kind of kind of like all about this new energy and you're going to be very cold towards a fire sign or someone that's going to come in thinking the billy big bollocks like um someone's going to come in cocker and you're going to be like ew <laughs> because you met new and this person is showing up as a double wish come true like and again those of you that are not there yet Hang on, this is coming energy. At least if you're not in, if you're not here yet, maybe you're still up here somewhere. I don't know, but you know, I see it. It's the right there. New love. New love. Some of you, this is someone at work that you've met. I'm telling you now, though, you are going to get the person that broke your heart reaching out to you. Um, show me this queen, but it's when I, I'm feeling like this is when you're the queen of swords towards them. It's when you're like, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> Show me this Queen of Swords, please. Show me this Queen of Swords for Taurus. Yeah. Scorpio energy. Someone wants to go through a rebirth and you're not you're not jumping. Quite the opposite, in fact. You're gonna be like, what? <laughs> what are you saying in that Queen of Swords energy? You're not to be fucked with. You've got some very strong guidance around your Taurus. Very strong, very powerful. Someone wants a rebirth with you soon. Some of you, this is a Leo. Someone's going to be sending you a message at night time. Someone's just going to take the risk, take the plunge and fucking jump in. <clears throat> but um, you're not going to be impressed. Don't feel like you're being impressed by this. At all. Listen, those of you that are the younger side of this situation, you've been watched like fuck. And someone's just realising how much they could have had everything that they wanted and they fucked it up. Yeah, they did. Um, it's like you took all of your amazingness elsewhere and they know how amazing you are. Because they wanted you, but they couldn't have you. So, they know what you bring to the table and they're fucking devastated at the fact that you took it to a new one. And you are going to be doing Show me this King of Wands. Chariot. <laughs> You're going to leave this behind. You're going to be like, see ya. See ya. There could be something about you and your car. Um, You're going to keep going forward. Listen, a lot of you have learned some valuable lessons from this situation, from this person. Maybe they had to like a certain level of control over you because of the passion, the intimacy, but it's like they've not now. They've not. The chariot, the hierophant and the empress. You're going to entertain them. You are going to entertain a conversation at least because you're looking at them. But it's like you've, you've learned a lot. You've learned a lot. Then it's by moving forward. It's by turning you back on this person yourself. Regardless of what happened. And growing from it. 
growing yourself, going through and a further awakening, expanding spirituality even more. I hear Bonnie snoring. <laughs> what? The non-committal little douchebag is going to reach out. And it's like, you know, let's be real. Let's say, for example, yeah, six months ago, you would have jumped at it, right? Now you're not. And that's the whole point. That is the whole fucking point. It's like you've put your cup, you put your love into another cup. A lot of you, this could be just all into yourself, but it's not. It's, it's another it's another manager for a lot of you. Um, but either way, it's like the cup that you've taken away from them and started drinking yourself or giving to someone else. They are devastated because they know how amazing that cup is. They know that's fucking juicy. It's juicy. It's delicious. It's spot on. <laughs> So they're devastated. And I can't say I'm surprised. Can't say I blame them because you know me, your biggest fan. It'd be fucking stupid to fuck us all us over. But anyhow, thank you for joining me so late. I am um sorry I am so late, but again, better late than never. Join us if you have not yet, please do. A nice little quick one, half an hour, lovely. Um, and that I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Mwah, love you all loads.